and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're doing good, everyone's doing well. I have to say, we are finally talking about the long-awaited Algeria squad for the upcoming international break, where we're playing two friendlies against Mali at home and against Sweden away. The list is out, and I have to say, it's an absolute bloody shambles. It's a shambolic, diabolical mess. We have waited so long for this. We've taken even longer than like teams actually going to the tournament and squads they're taking. And the, the squad we've picked, I have to say, it's just, it's embarrassing. It's quite frankly, it is an absolute embarrassment. How has it taken this long to get to this point? Let's start with the goalkeepers. We're taking four goalkeepers when the likelihood is only one is going to play. Unless someone gets injured. We're taking Raisin Bulhi, who's playing in the Saudi second division. Now, we all know what Raiz is about. We know and love him. Ain't really got too much of a problem with that. The problem I've got is that there's four of them. You've got Mandrea, you've got Akija, and you've got Zugba. Now, they're all more than capable of starting for the national team. But why do you need four? It's taking up the space of an outfield player we could be looking at. And you look at the players that aren't here. And to take four goalkeepers, if I was a midfield player or a striker or a winger, I'd be fuming. I'd be absolutely fuming if I wasn't in this squad, but a fourth goalkeeper was. So there we are. Maybe he just didn't want to upset any of them. In defence, you've got Isamandi, two guy, and Tuba as the centre backs. Only three centre halves in the squad. Of course, Ben Sabani can play there as well, but Dane ruled out through injury. The two left backs are going to be Rami Ben Sabani. And I can't believe this. But Yanis Hamash is back. He's playing in, well to be fair, he's playing in the Conference League with Dnipro, a club in the Ukraine League, where, and we all know what's happening in Ukraine, it's very difficult circumstances, but Yanis Hamash from Dnipro, playing anyway for Europa Conference League, he's the backup left back to Rami Bensabaini. So he's in the squad. The two right backs, Yusuf Atal and Hossein Beniada. There's no space for the likes of Zadudka. So... Ben Sabaini and Hamash for the left back, Baniada and Atal for the right back, and then two guy Tuba and Mandy for the centre backs. In midfield, to be fair, we should talk about the new guy. We have got a new player. We've got one new player, and that is Mehdi Larice, uh, Algerian mother, Spanish father. He plays in Serie A with Sampdoria. Yes, I know they're currently in the relegation zone. Yes, I think he's only got one goal and assist in 12 appearances this season and he has a he is a midfield central midfield or winger right winger left winger player so he is quite an attacking player um maybe that's why they listed him in the official list as a defender because his attacking stats were so bad anyway so Mehdi Lloris from Sampdoria 24 years of age Algerian mother Spanish father born in France he is going to be playing for the Algeria national team so fair play to him for getting all that sorted unlike a certain Mr Hussam Awar now I've had this theory for a while now, you know France did their World Cup squad, and obviously Awa wasn't in it, but they had quite a few midfield concerns in the central areas, and I think he saw Pogba out, he saw Kante out, and Awa thought, have I got a last-minute chance to sneak him away to a World Cup on the plane to Qatar with France? Obviously, it didn't happen. Now, he's probably going to be like, oh, you know what, my chance with them has been and gone. Now, I'm going to switch to Algeria. I really hope I'm wrong, but if that's the case... Shambles. So Awar's not here, Adley's not here. To be fair to Adley, he's barely played for AC Milan all season. But uh, Ismail Banassa, Rami Zarouki, Adam Zorgan, Hisham Badawi's back in, and Nabil Bentaleb are all here. There's no place for Bandubka. So Banassa and Bentaleb's what, kind of what I want to see. And then you've got Zarouki, Zorgan, and Badawi. Maybe a chance to see a, a better look at uh, Badawi as well. But obviously no Awar, no Aignori, no players like that. Just Mehdi Lloris is the only new player. The Toulouse youngster, Fares Shaibi, he's not here either. He was in the big extended list. I don't know why he's not here when there's a fourth goalkeeper. That in itself is a bloody disgrace. Attacking areas, Riyad Mahrez and Adam Nurse for the right-hand side. Man City could have said no to Mahrez being called up because he's not going to the World Cup. The clubs do have that right. Some teams are doing that. But Mahrez and Adam Nurse is good for the right. Yusuf Belayli and Saeed Benrahma for the left. Good to see Saeed Benrahma back. Hopefully he's finally actually going to get some minutes and some game time because... His lack of appearances for that national team is kind of worrying considering how good he is and the club he's at. He's at a massive club like West Ham. No place for Bilal Brahimi in this squad and no place for Andy Delore. That's because of an injury issue. Three strikers. Slimani's in. Well, you can 99% bet yourself that Slimani's going to be in any Algeria squad till he retires from football. Mohamed Amora playing in Switzerland and Karim Aribi playing in the Algerian league. He's crap. Why is Aribi in this? 
He's shocking, he's a dead baller, he shouldn't be here. Why is Aribi in over someone like Bunaja? I know Bunaja is out of form. He's certainly better than Aribi. An out of form Bunaja is still far better than an in-form Aribi. The only problem is Aribi's never actually been in form. So that in itself is honestly stupid. It's a shambles. We've got four keepers. We've got Aribi. We've got one new player in Mehdi Liris. We've got no Awar. We've got no Adli. We've got no Ignori. We've got no Elise. If that squad went to the World Cup next week, it would get absolutely battered and straight back on the plane. Luckily, Qatar wouldn't be that far away from Algeria. What are your thoughts on this long-awaited Algeria squad? These are the players we'll see in action uh, against Mali and against Sweden. I think the players start arriving on the Monday for the training camp before heading to Oran for the game on the Wednesday. Then it's off to Sweden for the game on the Sunday. So, disappointing. Hamash, Aribi, four keepers, no Shaibi, no Awa, obviously Delors injured, um, but Delane's injured. Very disappointing, very, very disappointing for me. I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. I'll see you next time.